Hi everyone. This is a tutorial on how to set Stripe price ID for the subscriptions that you can create in Cloud Poly. Cloud Poly is a text to speech SaaS platform which you can get on Code Canyon. The link is below. Um, you can find the link in the description below. So let's go ahead and create our first subscription and set up Stripe uh, price ID to accept credit card payments. Now first what you have to do is include your um, Stripe um, basically keys, a private and secret key, and also set your webhook URL and your webhook secret number as well. Um, if you have them, go to the finance management and click on the pay payment settings. And here you can include your Stripe key and your Stripe secret key. Now I'm using test keys, um, so make sure that you use the proper keys as needed. For for developer or testing, obviously you can use test keys, but for production, you need to have your production keys as well. And for setting up Stripe webhook URL and getting your Stripe webhook secret number, uh, you can use our documentation for Cloud Poly. The link is under product description or on on Code Canyon page, uh, where basically it explains how to create, how to set your webhook URL, and then get the secret ID, and plus set what kind of actions you allow for your webhook uh, webhook basically. Um, the Stripe uses only one URL, so there is no option of setting sandbox or uh, production URLs. A base URIs, um, it's all defined by the key name. So as you can see here, the key is a uh, private key test, and I think on the, on the live one it just says private key live. You can get them in your Stripe account. Now, how do you create a subscription? First, go to subscription plan. Basically, you're creating a subscription for allowing your customers to subscribe and use credits on a monthly basis, uh, text to speech credits. Uh, first of all, just provide a name. For example, let's say entry for the simplicity, simplicity perspective. I uh, guess give it a price of ten dollars. Now, in the in the in our other tutorials, you can set PayPal plan ID, Razor plan ID, or Paystack plan ID. On this one, we'll be setting up uh, Stripe uh, price ID, and um, with this, uh, your customers will be able to pay uh, by using their credit card um, and for for getting paid, for subscribing to you, uh, to your subscription plan that you have created here, which is entry. Now, before we get into product ID, don't forget that you are selling characters, so you might want to set whatever the number of characters you want to set. Let's make it uh, one hundred thousand for ten ten dollars per month. You can add some bonus characters if you want. This is an optional. Um, you also need to have set um, heading part, and this is basically what it, the, the the pricing details will be shown um, on the pricing page for for this particular plan. Uh, so you can you can use any basically proper information in terms of your plan. Now you can list various features, um, and but make sure that all the features are basic comma separated. Now this is up to you in terms of what you want to set here, uh, but I'm just for the demonstration perspective, we'll use just a dummy text. Now before saving, let's go ahead and cre create Stripe um, price ID. So log into your Stripe account. Um, so that's basically how your Stripe account will, will work. And as you can see here, I'm currently in the uh, in the test mode. So you want, if you are in the production, you basically make sure that you deactivate this, and then uh, use your proper live live keys uh, within the Cloud Poly uh, to create proper uh, connection between Cloud Poly and your Stripe gateway. Now, how do we create basically plan IDs in your Stripe dashboard? Go to products and create a new product. Now if in PayPal and the other cloud vendors um, payment gateways it's called basically plans where you create various plans but in Stripe it's called product. 
so the product that you are selling. In our case, we are selling service. So click on the click on the add product, and you can name basically for any kind of naming. So let's make it uh, TTS. Well, let's just expand it text to speech. So that's our service. You can provide optional description if you want, and we will create our first uh, pricing basically plan. You can create unlimited number of uh, prices under this product. Uh, each price will have its own ID, so that's the ID that you'll be using um, in your plans that you'll create. So we are using a standard pattern pricing, basically. Uh, let's go with ten with ten dollars, and don't forget your currency has to match uh, with the one um, that you set in the Cloud Poly initially here. So we are using US dollars and make sure that the currency, whatever you select the currency here, it's actually available, uh, supported by Stripe. So Stripe supports a lot of currencies. Yeah, just make sure you select the light, um, correct one. Um, so next one, we you want to have a recurring payment. So that will be automatically charged uh, from, the, from your subscribers on a monthly basis. And here the frequency that you set uh, on a monthly basis. In the future, we also implement an option to create um, allow you to charge on a yearly basis, but at the moment it runs on a monthly basis. Um, there is no need to create additional option. You can put description page if you want, some additional description, but that's totally optional. And you can create more, for example, let's see, let's, let's suppose you created, after this create a standard plan and then advanced plan, and you can immediately click it, uh, click and add another price and then continue on setting the prices. So after you provide all this information, click save product. And so here is our Stripe basically product that you created. Now each product has its own product ID, uh, but we don't need that number. We will need um, the price ID number of the product. So the price ID basically here has to match the the price here basically has to match to the price that you set on this page. Um, you can include taxes, I think, but uh, that's again up to you. Now, as soon as you copy this, again, just to highlight, you'll need this price ID here. So I copied it and paste here. Afterwards, click Save. Oh yeah, the frequency, I forgot. Frequency is um, 30 days. In the future, we will include, include uh, one year as well. At the moment, it's 30 days. Um, put this one back. These are just description of various things that you can add, for example, the neural voices available for subscribers only, and etc. And all of them can be configured on the under TTS management configuration page. Okay, now we created a subscription plan for Stripe, and also one important part under the when you when you were configuring your Stripe gateway, don't forget to enable your subscription to use basically the use subscription checkbox and if you have some prepaid plans created and you want to accept payments uh, through Stripe basically payments for credit cards and debit cards then yes um, you can you have to enable the use Stripe prepaid as well um, so let's go and try it out so under my balance click on subscribe now as a user so the user will see the subscription plans that you created, uh, which is a $10 plan with the, with the information that you entered in the demo. Now, upon, upon subscribing, basically, the user has to select the Stripe, um, Stripe payment. Now, if you enable, for example, PayPal or Paystack or other pay gateways, uh, they will appear, all of them here, basically. Now, you will have to enter their credit card information. Here we can just enter the basically dummy credit card information provided by Stripe. 
Uh, so whatever the naming. And if I remember correctly, it was all 42s. And that should be it. So go ahead and check out. Now upon success, it will redirect me to confirmation page. And as you can see, it accepted uh, my PayPal plan ID, uh, well, PayPal price ID, and it also provided me a subscription, unique subscription of the subscriber here, but you don't need to bother about this. All of them are stored automatically on the in the script, and I'll show you where. So as you can see, 100,000 characters were added uh, to my account. Now, if I'll go to my subscription and you'll see here that I'm basically subscribed to uh, to the entry package right here and this is my subscription ID admin this is this is from the user perspective and admin can see this information as well and that's it so creating stripe is uh, with a subscription is very easy um, now user can also use stripe to pay prepaid plans so for example 500 the, the pack this is a prepaid plan for 50,000 characters including uh, 20,000 credit basically bonus credits and it again can use stripe with the same information and that's it thanks for watching and if you'll have any questions um, you can reach out to us in cloud uh, code canyon in the, under this product um, again product is available in Code Canyon and the standard license includes all um, SaaS features including several various payment gateways um, uh, and uh, also payment in cryptocurrencies via Coinbase.